Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I'd like to discuss another new component that's actually come about due to necessity. Many of you already realize I released my aluminum motor couplers about two years ago, and while the design works fine, there's still an aluminum motor coupler, and the issue with aluminum has always been the amount of torque they're able to support. That being said, I've had many potential clients contact me over the years in reference to will I ever carry or have I looked at carrying a stainless coupler design. Uh, more or less they're looking for a fire and forget investment because they know that once you invest in them you never really need to touch your machine again as far as its transmission. Um, that being said, I've always looked at, you know, uh, referencing different companies with the design that I've been working with. The issue has always been, um, can they offer repeatable quality and what is the price constraint comparable to aluminum? Does it make sense, so to speak? Well, that being said, over months and months and months of research, I've settled on one company out of Taiwan. The company's name is TBI Motion, and they're very, very, very similar to Highwind. It's an ISO 9001 certified facility. It's been around quite some time, and I have to say the quality that they've uh, produced is really, really amazing, guys. Um, the unit you see before you features an 8 by 10 millimeter bore, and this is one of the sizes of the three I will be carrying. Uh, the other size is 8 by 8, and the other size is 8 by 12. Um, this unit you see before you and the other three units uh, they will all feature the same outer diameter and length. The outer diameter on this unit is 29 millimeters. The length is 30 millimeters. It does feature the quad set screw design. And again, you can see them inside the board. Now, whenever you utilize a motor coupler, I cannot emphasize this enough. Of course, you should be using blue Loctite. Um, many of you already realize that. Some of you, uh, some guys try to cut corners in certain respects. This is not an area, of course, to do that. Um, to give you an idea in the strength capacity of this unit, and comparable to aluminum. Again, we're at a 29 millimeter outer diameter by 30 millimeter length, and this unit will support over 1,100 ounce inches of torque. Uh, it does have the fringe pattern you can see within the coupler right here, so it does have slight shaft uh, misalignment to a couple thousandths, and when I say a couple thousandths, I literally mean very, very, very minute. Again, the rigidity on these, they are without a doubt the closest to zero backlash you will get in comparison to a rule and no doubt. Um, and that's a lot being said. Ruland's been around a long time, and many of you already know the price constraint on Ruland can be anywhere between, you know, 90, upwards of 85 to $90 a unit, all the way up to $150 a unit, depending on the size. So again, um, I consider these more or less a one-time investment. You, I mean, you'll definitely encounter transmission failure before these should give on you. Um, they are amazing in quality, like I said, looking at them. The packaging on them, once again, you get the, uh, they come sealed in the actual uh, aluminum foil bag and they come in their own nylon container. So again, excellent quality. I feel that discontinuing the Rev 2 models of my couplers, many of you already ordered them. Um, and again, I always give you the latest design. These are going to be the standard across the board because really when you go to stainless, there's no turning back. And many of you already know that. Um, the investment, again, is not as cheap as aluminum. It's not going to be like a Lovejoy or anything like that. If that's what you're looking for um, in price, these are definitely going to be more than that. But I promise you, uh, the investment will pay off. You'll definitely notice um, overall precision in the machine will increase. I mean, these, once again, feature virtually zero backlash. Um, and again, the rigidity factor alone is huge, especially for my guys working with aluminum or steel. If that's what you plan on building your machine around, these are going to be your best friend, without a doubt. Um, if my uh, potential clients out there need a different size, and I know I get questions on that all the time. I get oddball retrofit designs and whatnot, but they still want to go with the stainless out of the, out of the actual um, gate. Please contact me at storm2313 at gmail.com. Again, I'll put my contact information once again to my um, eBay store in the description below as well. Uh, you contact me with your questions and special requests, and of course, I'll do my best to meet them. But keep in mind, if I do have to order a, a set, we're looking at you know potentially weeks to, to actually be manufactured. So always keep that in mind when we're planning retrofits. I always tell my clients, you know, Give me a couple weeks notice if you say, hey, I'm looking at this retrofit. Um, I'm probably going to need a couple custom parts or I don't have these on hand. What can you do for me? Always expect a couple weeks. I mean, if you need a part right away, I'll do my best to actually accommodate you. But 
again certain things with couplers I mean these units you can tell these are not rushed these are done right so again give me a couple weeks usually on any type of retrofit and I'll do my best to accommodate you with exactly what you need and we'll get you guys set up so once again to all my subscribers I thank you for your support in the next couple months I'll be releasing a lot of new different designs um, again some from Highwind which are gonna really I think blow your mind I mean as far as the quality and what they offer there's simply nothing on the market like it um, but I cannot thank you guys all enough for your support once again if you do have to contact me all of my contact information is below thank you again take care